Hey guys, Custom Collector here. I uh, want to share with you two new statues I've added to my collection. This is a custom quarter scale Captain America based on the artworks of Ed McGinnis, Joe Mad, and just some various parts of his costume taken from the way he's been drawn over the years. I saw the Bowen, the original Bowen, that had Cap Shield on his back that was based off of Joe Mad's ultimate version and just thought that would make a great quarter scale statue which was the premise behind this um, this one here we did a metallic uh, version weathered paint job and a more comic style with the more vibrant blues and reds um, put a lot of detail into this statue the statue itself is twenty and a half inches tall um, cap stands about nineteen inches tall and the base is fourteen inches deep 10 inches wide and inch, inch and a half thick. Um, this here is the Ed McGinnis head. He does have four switch out heads. Um, I'll show you those throughout the video. But you can see this is the metallic version, has more of the shinier, glossy paint, um, little weathered look to it, more of a realistic type. The gloves uh, do have a red shading to them, just more of a red leather type look and not as vibrant as the comic version. We did do the bags or the pouches on his gloves in the brown leather look. Trying to break it up, like I said, added a bunch of different features from the different costumes. The modern cap, the ultimate cap, and just a lot of different technique. Wanted to take and add some just different stuff instead of copying a for sure reference art. So me and a good friend of mine got together, put these ideas together. Um, and this is what we come up with, pretty happy with it. You see, even tuck the laces in the boot so he could pass uh, inspection. So, I did the Avengers base similar to Sideshow's Avengers base. I think that come out extremely well. Um, you can see I have it here with Miss Marvel. So the scale, she is in the background, but he is in perfect scale with the quarter scale pieces that Sideshow's putting out. Get it spun around here. Give you a picture of the back. As you can see I mean the shield is great paint job on this is excellent this was done by the same group that did my annihilation Thanos and it is resin pieces this um, the exclusive to this is the two additional switch out heads which is the Ed McGinnis head and the scroll head from Secret Invasion go ahead and swap this head out here for you but um, the heads are very detailed we'll go ahead and go with the unmasked Joe Mad head there you are so you can see the uh, even got the the rest of his cowl on his back the A back there so I mean a lot of wanted to go with a lot of details on this kind of something with the premium format by Sideshow out there it's hard to uh, hadn't really seen another quarter scale cap that would that I could go and this here is the Joe Mad version has the seams in the helmet or excuse me in the mask runs all the way around so and then I mean, you can see the details in the straps, the pouches. I mean, just excellent job. I'm very pleased with the outcome of this piece. Um, has not been offered a lot. I do know that the exclusive, which comes with the, like I said, the Ed McGinnis piece head and the scroll head, which this is the scroll head from the Secret Invasion storyline, which I think is a nice feature. Not sure that'll ever be picked up. We decided to go with the scroll head based on the Spider Woman coming out with the Scroll Queen um, switch out head. So now we're going to have a cap to go along with that. And here is the comic painted version. I'm not going to go through all of his switch out heads. He's got the unmasked Joe Mad head. You can see the paint difference here with more vibrant reds and blues details come out phenomenal probably said that like three times already but uh, he also is on the 
a Avengers base and um, the I do know that the exclusive which features the two heads was to be limited to 20 pieces these two here are the artist proofs from that series not sure what the um, what the availability is of any more of the if there's any more of these left or not but uh, if you uh, wanted to contact me through my email or through through YouTube I can uh, you know forward you on to the person you need to get in contact if you got any questions about these pieces but that's it like I said great piece Steve Rogers always a must-have I mean for those that missed out on the uh, premium format not sure if Sideshow is going to come out with a museum style cap anytime soon but uh, here it is hope you like it thanks for watching and again like I said if you have any questions feel free to ask about this or any other items you've seen me put on my YouTube uh, got a few more videos coming up if they don't get put up before Christmas you guys have a Merry Christmas Happy New Year and we'll see you next time thanks for watching